I'm Ingo Rademacher for Ingo's Bike. It's been a 10 years since I've been riding motorcycles and I'm slowly getting back into it and I thought I would start with the Honda Goldwing. And this one is the standard Goldwing. It doesn't have the big bags and rear seat on the back, which is called, cool. of course, that's the touring model, which I always rode. Completely redesigned in 2018. It's now comes with uh, optional automatic transmission, which is the bike that I'm riding, which is insane. It's a lot lighter, the bike, so it feels a lot faster than the old one did. And the cornering clearance is way up. 2003 was the first Goldwing that I ever rode. And then I owned uh, all the way through 2006. It was an amazing bike back then, because uh, I loved riding sport bikes. Um, I got on the Goldwing thinking it was gonna be, you know, horrible, bad handling cruiser, and it turns out that it wasn't. It was actually a lot of fun, so it became the, the bike of choice for riding to places like Laguna Seca. This Alpine style Oscar gear, kind of vintage looking, super comfortable. A key fob that you leave in your bike, just like with your car, and then you just push start. And then you put it into drive because it's automatic. Seven speed DCT, dual clutch transmission. Here we go. So this is absolutely incredible. It's my first time really testing it in the canyons right now and I am in full automatic touring mode which is absolutely perfect. Now I can't downshift like I just did right there if I need to and then it will go straight back into automatic mode. Now I can downshift right here, get a little bit more power coming out of this corner. It's holding the gear even in touring which is amazing holding the gear which is exactly what I wanted to do. Now I can upshift just by a click right there. Downshift again just to help the bike break into the corner and that really works well. This is incredible. I didn't think I was gonna like the automatic and I'm absolutely in love with it now. I really wasn't sure if it was going to work as well as it did. So I just basically kept it in touring mode. And then you have this, uh, here's your uh, automatic. You put it into drive right there and you can sh uh, select automatic or manual, but you can shift down right here. So if you're coming into the corner a little bit too fast and you want that engine braking on, you can downshift with the minus sign and then it will go right back to automatic mode and you can upshift on the other side the the, the plus lever is right here right there see the little plus so there's your shifting and it's a proper uh, dual clutch seven speed transmission and it works flawlessly <laughs> overall pretty impressed one of the other things that i want to mention that i forgot to mention is uh you know i really ride this bike like a sports bike so when i'm riding it in the canyons i'm getting my butt off the seat trying to pretend to drag the knee um, you don't just sit on it I mean you can just sit on it and cruise it but it's way more fun to get off on it as you've seen from the videos uh, it, it really likes that it, uh, it actually it responds very well when you ride this thing uh, uh, ride it hard and ride it like a sports bike the way you're supposed to ride it so around town it's also a super easy bike to ride the automatic I really like the touring setting the automatic is great, it downshifts by itself. It took a little bit of getting used to, but now I wouldn't have this bike any other way. Look at that, just perfect little downshift, super smooth. It's just like you're doing it. You can actually hear a little bit of the clicking because it is a dual clutch. So you actually hear the shifts a little bit like you would if you were shifting manually. How does this bike compare to the uh, old Goldwing? Well, it's the old Goldwing. Uh, better basically. Yeah, I still can't get over how fast this thing is. You know the old Goldwing it had the handling Didn't have the ground clearance the cornering clearance uh, But this new Goldwing has everything so uh, I think you'll be able to chase down some sport bikes uh, on this Goldwing now um, You know it used to kind of keep up with that uh, with the GS um, the BMW who I had a, a fun little uh, duel with on uh, Pacific Coast Highway one time, coming back down from, uh, from Monterey. Um, but it lacked power. Now, 
it, it doesn't so <laughs> it's on man be careful if you're racing a gold wing in the canyons and you got somebody on board that bike that knows what he's doing or knows what she's doing <laughs> so just just know that but, uh, throughout the next six to eight months i'm going to be testing some of the cool new retro bikes which the gold wing doesn't really fit into the retro but it does definitely come under the umbrella of cool because the only other competition that it has is the bmw k1600 i'm going to be borrowing uh, bikes from companies like Triumph. Uh, I want to try the Bonneville again, the new one, uh, the cool retro Bonneville. They've also got a Scrambler that's kind of cool. They got two different Scramblers. BMW also has a Scrambler that I really, really want to try. I'm excited to try that bike. Um, Kawasaki has some really cool retro cafe racers, and Kawasaki has one in particular, the W800, um, that I want to try. So, those are the kind of bikes I think maybe guys my age and also some of the millennials out there would get excited about because these bikes have all the modern technology they got fuel injection so they're always ready to go you don't need a wrench on them they look vintage but they handle more like a modern bike does so they're a lot of fun to ride had a great time thanks Honda much appreciated can't wait to take this thing on a longer trip with the boys This is Ingo's bike, over and out.